Hi, I'm Katie Crest Irby, assistant lacrosse coach at Columbia University, and I'm here with Caitlin Jackson of Game Day Lacrosse, and we're going to teach you how to do a behind the back pass, which is actually one of my favorite parts of the game. So, and a, a behind the back pass is pretty fancy, but it's also pretty um, practical and effective if you're in the right position. So, the first thing that you'll notice about Caitlin that when she goes to do a behind the back pass, and one of the one of the ways that you can teach this in a more basic way is by having the having the player stand side on to their partner to start out with. Caitlin's gonna drop her hands down in front of her and then she's literally gonna drive her hands back, straight back and up. So her hands would kind of be in this position and at the same time that she drives her hands up and back, she's gonna rotate her shoulders around and release the ball, okay? So again, my hands drop down I want to drive my stick straight out from, from behind me. So if my partner's there, I'm driving it straight out so that the butt end would still be pointing at my target. And then I'm going to rotate my shoulders a little bit. I'm going to pull with this hand and I'm going to push down with my bottom hand actually. So I'm going to go here and I'm, and I'm just bringing it behind my back. Hence the reason it's called behind the back. So one common mistake is that kids get a little bit scared and they bring it in front of them. And so you really want to encourage them to bring it behind their back and even allow them to snap it so that the stick would hit their shoulder here or their arm. That's a great way to teach it, but eventually you want to get to the point where your stick is not really making contact with your body. So as you advance in this, you can turn your body straight on. So it really teaches your players how to use their torso in their game and how to use their torso in this particular pass. So what I would do is I would pivot my, my left foot, okay? So I really want to be able to turn my hips side on, but keep my feet straight on. So I would turn this back foot, turn my hips, drive my hands out behind me, and then a quick push-pull to my partner. So I want to be able to stand straight on to Caitlin turn my hips and shoulders and really make this motion very quickly. So this would again would be as you get more and more advanced at this skill. And that's how you do it behind the back. <laughs>